Welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds or so tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at the Perspective Crop Tool, uh, which while it's not the most used tool in Photoshop, it's pretty darn powerful. It's located here underneath the Crop Tool, um, and I believe as of like Photoshop CS6 or so, it became its own tool. Um, most of the functionality was reserved underneath the Crop Tool for the longest time. But now we've got the Perspective Crop Tool, so you can bring it up. You can see you have width and height inputs. I honestly would ignore all of this stuff. Wouldn't even worry about it. Uh, for the moment. Basically the way it works is you, you're you going to draw lines along pers like the perspective lines in your image. So let's say I want to take, I want to crop this front wall of this building and flip it so it looks like I'm looking straight into it. Now there's all kinds of stuff you can do with the perspective crop tool, not just this kind of radical change, but this is just a great example. So I'm going to begin by clicking up here at the top corner and then I'm going to click somewhere right around here. Uh, again, we're following the perspective line of the roof line. Then I'm going to move down here following kind of the lines of the windows. So I've got about the same amount of distance uh, between my grid line and the edge of the window there. Then I'm going to bring it all the way back across the building to here, and I'm going to click my line right about here. Now, the reason I chose right here to add my line is because I'm looking at my horizontal grid lines, and I want to make sure they're about the same distance above each window. That's going to ensure when Photoshop flips this, it's got proper perspective and it can flip it just the way, you know, just the way that I need it so it looks perfectly flat. So I go ahead and hit the check icon to commit the change. Boom. Look at that. It's as though the whole wall has been turned and flipped and twisted right so we're looking straight into it. Now, like I said, this isn't necessarily the most practical use for the tool, but it, it showcases what the tool can do. You're going to use it for much kind of not much more not so radical uh, adjustments, if that's even a, a, a way of speaking. But I also want to show you here, let's say you begin drawing out a perspective and you realize you've totally messed it up. Just hit the escape key and that'll get you out of it and get rid of it for good. That's it. The perspective crop tool. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.